Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Today's video is inspired by some of my friends who have asked me my hair care secret and how I grew my hair like this. For today, we are doing a hair care treatment using none other than aloe vera. Welcome to my channel. Let me just say that I'm glad and thankful for those of you who have taken the time to watch my previous videos. I'm grateful for you guys for subscribing to my channel. Really appreciate you. If you're new here, my name is Brit. Hi, my full name is Brittle Babe. That is in my birth certificate. Yes, I am a DJ, but since we are not allowed to fully go out and do outside gigs, I am here starting a YouTube channel, testing out a lot of different things and different YouTube contents. I make content such as beauty, lifestyle, adventure, and other random stuff on the side. If you're liking my vibe so far, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new content. Join me in for today's video as I show you how I apply the aloe vera onto my hair, hence the outfit and the no makeup look. <laughs> because we are gonna get messy later with the aloe vera application. If you want to know it's a good hair care remedy and how this helped me fix my doll hair problem, if you're somebody looking for answers to doll, brittle, brittle babe, <laughs> dry hair, continue watching this video. Aloe vera is a succulent plant species of the genus aloe. It originates from the Arabian Peninsula but grows wild in tropical, semi-tropical, and arid climates around the world. It is cultivated for agricultural and medicinal uses. It has been widely used for several purposes and one of those is hair treatment. Number one, it strengthens and repairs hair strands. It contains vitamins A, C and E. All these three vitamins contribute to cell turnover, promoting healthy cell growth and shiny hair. Number two, aloe vera also has vitamin B12 and folic acid. Both of these components can keep your hair from falling out. Number three, it may promote hair growth. After using aloe vera, you might see that your hair breakage and hair loss slows down. But you also need to know that aloe vera is not for everyone. There have been cases of aloe vera allergic reactions and so for safety precaution, before putting aloe vera onto your hair, do a patch test Rub a small bit of aloe vera onto the inside of your wrist and wait up to two hours to see if your skin reacts poorly. This will let you know if you have an aloe sensitivity. But to me, I've been using this for quite some time and I'm proud to say that this has helped me heal my dry damaged hair. And now it's time to go to the garden and get some aloe vera. This is my Ate Wilma and this is her garden and luckily she plants aloe vera too. We have a never-ending supply of aloe vera as she always plants it every time we run out. I can easily ask her to give me some every time I feel like treating my hair. Just one part of its arms and this should cover my entire hair. Fast forward to the process, I have already cleaned and cut the aloe vera into pieces this morning after getting it from the garden and I stored it in the fridge so it's fresh and cold when I use it. This is how it looks. I left a couple of pieces here to show you what happens in the cleaning process. So basically you cut the thorns from each side for easier scraping or removing off the gel from the skin. To start with the preparation, you're going to need a table knife and a spoon. The knife is to cut the side parts where the thorns are and spoon is to scrape the gel from the skin. You may do that or you may simply use your hand. After that, you peel the gel from the skin. As you can see, I have my blender here on the side ready for mixing for later after I peel off the gel from the skin. I like blending it because the gel is thick and I like to break it down into a watery consistency for easier application. This process can get messy so make sure you're doing it either at your sink or prepare towels to wipe off the mess after. 
how to dance with somebody. Oh. <laughs> that is why you wear clothes that you're okay with messing up because. One last understand. Yeesh. Okay, so that all goes in there. And then for all this, you don't need any of these anymore. Rinse your hand after, and the gel is now ready for blending. Now, here, this is optional. Personally, I like using the blender because apart from easily achieving that watery consistency, the gel is really thick and over time, I learned that this process saves me time from breaking that thick gel down into the consistency I need for the hair application. If you have no blender, it's okay. You may use your spoon to break down the gel until you reach that right consistency. Hair application time. Get ready with your towel and your comb. This part, I like sectioning my hair, but I'm not the best in doing it. It's just hard, especially if there's no mirror in front of me. My hair is so thin, so this is just going to be an easy application for me. Plus, it doesn't really matter if you don't evenly distribute it in the beginning because afterwards, you will have to massage your hair all at once to make sure your whole head is covered and if there is a leftover you may apply it all into your hair as if you're putting shampoo you may use any type of applicators here you may use a brush or a bottle that you can put the aloe vera into and squeeze into your hair or simply you may use your hand I like using my hand to do this process as it gives me more freedom to apply the liquid into my head You just try to apply it evenly through your sectioning and in the end part, when you still have some left, you can use it to soak your ends into it or you apply it as if you're applying shampoo while you're massaging your hair. Massage your scalp thoroughly. This allows the aloe vera liquid to spread through your head, allowing more vitamins and nutrients to other parts. The application process took me 10 minutes and then use your towel wrap it around your head and leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes while waiting you may do some work drink your coffee use your phone in my case since i'm using my phone to record it's a no for me or you may do your nails or do other things you feel like doing time is up and now it's time to go to the shower to remove this it's now time to wash this hair so I can show you the after effect of the aloe vera. I like using conditioner while rinsing. Normally I use cream silk but for today I'm using this argan oil I got from a friend. Two hours later. And hello ladies and gentlemen this is me after the aloe vera treatment. we've reached the end for today's video there are tons of hair care advices hair care tips and uh, hair care treatments out there and I can honestly name a lot of those but aloe vera is my holy grail and it's what I've been using for a year now it's natural it's accessible to me I don't have to get it or buy it from somewhere expensive for other hair stuff content I will try to get into some of those in my next videos please don't forget to leave anything in the comment section if you have questions about the aloe vera hair treatment shoot them down below if you also have comments and violent reactions to the process that i do also you may leave that down in the comment section like i said i'm not a professional and all of this i learned by myself i could be right all in all or wrong in some parts but yeah i will appreciate you even more if you take the time to um 
call me out on the mistakes. Again, don't forget to click on the like button, subscribe, and hit on the notification bell. My socials, it's Brit Babe on Facebook and Brittle Babe on Instagram. Thank you all for watching this video. Till next time, and as usual, stay safe.